Hello and welcome back to Fire Emblem Engage. So, it is time for us to explore this area a little bit, and then to advance the story and find out how life is without our mother around. So, I also noticed on the map we can see uh, the items, which is kind of useful. So really all we need to do is just kind of run around like this, uh, looking at the mini-map, and then we'll eventually just find out where we need to go. Uh, so there's another one here. Let's grab that. More crafting material. I'm assuming that soon it's going to be like, hey, here's the point where you get to decide what you're doing per month or per whatever time period it has. Here's what you can do in your downtime. Here's all that sort of stuff, but we haven't quite got there yet. Anyway, hello, Vander. I cannot make up for what you've lost, but I am at your side to find me. Hello. You know what, you're new, you don't get to be spoken to first. Fram? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Divine One. I wish I could have healed her. You were just reunited too, it's so unfair. Hello, Lan? No. Queen Lamera was always so nice to me, and now I'll never see her smile again. Um, hello, Alfred? Hmm. I will be your sword and shield, Divine One. And fl a flower. What brings more comfort than that? Okay. Hello. <coughs> Poor Queen Lamera. When word gets out, there will be mourning all over Ferenay. And then, Etty? Hmm. Thanks for agreeing to help us. I hope you can do something to save Ferenay. Oh, alright then. I mean, like... Whatever, I mean, I guess you have your problems too, but like our mother just died, but I mean, whatever. Right, let's go, travel. I don't know why I thought I needed to stand in it, you just need to look at it. Right, let's head off. We ought to establish a base of operations before we begin our journey. Okay, as I said, we're about to get the information about what happens in our downtime. The Somniel would be uniquely useful. A little out of the way, isn't it? I can't imagine how we'd get everyone there and back. As a divine dragon, you can travel there no matter where you are in the world. Well, that's convenient. I can? Indeed. Furthermore, one can only enter the Somniel with a divine dragon's power. Without Queen Lumera's blessing, even we stewards couldn't have set foot there. That is what makes it a safe haven. Well then, yes. Let's use it as our base. But before we depart, can you give me a moment? Hmm? We'll be gone a while, so I'd like to say goodbye to my mother. Of course. Take as much time as you need. Thank you for watching over me all this time. This journey will be a long one. But don't worry. Vander and the others will be right beside me. I will fulfill my duty as the Divine Dragon. I will find all of the rings, just as you asked. And then, I'll return to you, Mother. I promise. Here we are, safely returned to the Somniel. I didn't realize how spacious this place was. It is rather quiet, I know. But it will liven up as we gain allies. We may need someone to supply us with equipment as well. Something to consider. Right. Oh, by the way, Divine One, might this be yours? Hmm, a piece of jewelry. I don't recognize it. The crystal looks unusual. Where did you get this? On the ground in the ring vault, after the siege. I thought it might be yours, but apparently I was mistaken. No one has come forward, so it must have belonged to an enemy soldier. I'll dispose of it. Wait. It's familiar, somehow. Even though I've never seen it. Then please, do take it. Perhaps it will help jog your memory. Thank you, Vander. Once we've rested for a bit, let's set out for Firene. 
Okay. Now I'm expecting that we get to explore. Let's see if that's true. It's a longer load, so maybe a bigger area? You never know. Aha! Uh -huh. The Somniel is now in the guide. Well, let's read the guide then. The Somniel is your base. Use this area to prepare for the next battle and interact with your allies. Additional activities and areas of the Somniel will unlock as you progress through the story. Open the world map to continue your adventure. Access it from the menu or by using the exit in the plaza. Now, if I've got this right, if we look around us, you'll see on the UI, and looking here as well, yep, there is absolutely nothing in the Somniel which is tied to like some level of um, like max amount of activities or you can only do this many things before you have to go and advance the story. I believe this is a difference from three houses. If I've got this right, maybe it's just not here yet and that's and I've read something wrong. But as far as I'm aware, this is a much smaller scale thing. So in three houses, you had like a huge um, like castle to, well, monastery to explore. That's the correct term. Uh, with a ton of different activities in it and they had a limited number of activity points and it was this kind of meta game where you were trying to maximize how much you needed to do in a month so that you advanced forward everything enough so you upgraded all your characters so you so on and so forth in this i believe it's much more kind of laid back it's more of a you just explore you can do a couple of activities but there's no like there's not the same pressure and there's not the same amount of things that you need to do like, this game is much, much more focused on the actual combat sections of the game rather than the kind of like the meta um, characters and like almost lifestyle sim element that you got from Three Houses. Anyway, hello, Marth. Yes. The pain of losing Lamera runs deep, yet the familiarity of the Somniel is comforting. Yes. Okay. Interesting. So, I guess we just want to do a run around and talk to everybody. Sigurd? You know... Queen Lamera said emblems can roam here more freely due to the Divine Dragon's power. Okay. Hello. Ah! So the Somnail has pawns and orchid and uh, orchards, huh? I should check them out if I don't get lost first. Okay, so we can give him gifts. New page on him in the Ally Notebook. Okay. The Ally Notebook? Here? Ally Notebook, okay. Alright, so there is new stuff here, and you can zoom his portrait as well. Boucheron, Initial Class Axe Fighter, birthday May 11th. Basic info, Royal Knight of Furine. He arrived at uh, Lethos Castle on the night it was attacked, along with Prince Alfred and his fellow retainer, Etie. Now, uh, I'm looking at the game here. There doesn't appear to be anything uh, kind of noting what day it is. So I'm assuming that birthdays don't matter in terms of like gifts and things. Okay. This is also the only ally we know about. <laughs> uh, ring reference. Marth. Known as the Emblem of Beginnings, a hero among heroes bearing of nobility and charisma. So this is the one that we've been using so far. Uh, we're up to avoidance. Skill inheritance. Unit can inherit this emblem skills. So we can have the emblem skills as our basic skills. Oh, well, that's interesting. We get a new weapon at max level as well. Doubles the user's earned experience. Okay. Sigurd. Known as the emblem of the Holy, of the Holy War. A noble knight with a mighty lineage. So it gives you um, canter so you can move after attacking. Extra hit, extra movement, used to override, oh, sorry, um, override, used to attack and move through a line of adjacent foes. Huh. We get a weapon at level, oh, we also get weapon at level one as well. And then extra hit, we get skill inheritance, better stuff with lances. Obviously Sigurd is meant to be something that Alfred uses, I think. Bond relationships. So we can see what levels we are with people. 
Oh, so this is levels we are of the emblem. So we're like CBA with Marth and Sigurd. So we're like not at all forward with them. Can I see? Like, is it the same ones for each of these? Okay, so they can have bonds with all of the individual um, ones as well. Okay. I was wondering if some were limited. Oh, and then we have some support conversations we can do. Okay. Right. Well, that's cool. Let's talk to everybody first, and then we'll work out what we're doing afterwards. I don't even know how I'm going to explore this place. Let's let's start by going just like room by room. At least it shows us the items on the map. Not obtained. Okay. Uh, so have we explored this entire initial room? Is there anything in here? Oh. Okay. Oh, Vander's our butler? He's just not in, like, he just wears armor when he's out and about? At least he seems like he's in a kind of butler's outfit. If I may. Those clothes suit you well, Divine One. I too find it easier to relax in everyday attire. Oh, never mind. He just, like, to wear weird butler outfits. Sure. Um, Mander, initial class paladin. Birthday, November 26th. Basic info, uh, 32nd steward of the dragon. Watches over Alpex who sleeps on a floating island, the Somnial. Okay. Um, ooh, what have we got back here? Bulletin board. Donations? Donations are in the guide. What? So I give them money, and that gives us something? Yeah, it gives us more stuff when we explore. We can adopt animals, and it changes corrupted levels? Okay. I have a feeling it's going to give us a tutorial on that at some point. Oh, that's too much stuff. <laughs> right, uh, we have the Somnial map and we have achievements. Okay, that's fine. What is this? Music box. So, we could play some music here. Okay. Cool. Um, so we've explored there. Let's just go along each of these lines one by one and explore like as far as we can down one line. Oh wait, is there verticality in this section? Oh no, there is verticality. Uh, let's head this way and just do the top part first. Oh, hello. Oh! Am I underdressed for the Somniel? I feel like I don't belong here, but I'll help however I can. Okay, so we now have a new page on her. So we'll read the page on her. Um, wait, do we? Oh, there we are. Etty, initial class archer, birthday October 1st. Basic info, Royal Knight of Furinay. She arrived at Lethos Castle on the night it was attacked along with Prince Alfred and her fellow retainer, Boucheron. Okay, same thing. Okay, up here. Does it show us where these go? That's our room. Okay. Uh, let's head to our room, actually. Let's do go there first, because I think that's going to be like a single room. Let's see. Now, do we get a loading screen between each area? Yes. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. My room is now available in the guide. Okay. I mean, I would just prefer if it gave me the tutorial, but I understand why it doesn't. This is your room, the sacred place where Alpac slept for a thousand years. Let rest to take a nap and advance time on the Somnial. You may hear some interesting things while resting, wear headphones for the best sound? <laughs> what a weird thing for it to say. Okay, it's like reminisce to view past support conversations and scenes again. You can lower the game's difficulty by selecting Difficulty setting, however, you cannot raise the difficulty this way. Okay. Cafe Terrace is a relaxing communal space with access points to other facilities. Use the music box to change the music. Bulletin board lets you invest into uh, Ilios. Okay. Uh, and then donations. If you support uh, countries enough to raise their donation levels, they will reward you with gifts. With a high donation level, a country will have rare monsters that you can earn bonus gold or experience for defeating. High donation level also means you'll find more materials while exploring that in that country, among other things. Okay. Um, that's a lot. Uh, there is a way of changing the map, isn't there? 
yeah, I think I prefer this map. Because at least when we're wandering around somewhere, because it kind of helps you. Looks like something important belongs here. Okay. Then we could sleep if we wanted to. I'm assuming there must be things that are only active during the day. Or maybe it's just like an aesthetic thing? I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why you would want to cycle day and night yet. There doesn't seem to be a purpose to that. But we'll see. Okay. Uh, maybe if you cycle time you can do different missions outside the Somniel? Maybe. Anyway, I quite like having the full map open like that on the side, just so we can see what we're doing. So it's not crazy what we're doing. Okay. Although I also do understand having it like this when you're just going uh, through like smaller areas and you just want to focus on the area you're in. Okay, let's continue going up along here. Then this goes all the way down this way. Then down into the lower level. Okay, so there's nothing along here. It's fine. Uh, now we'll go this way. And we'll pick up an item. Orange obtained. Apple obtained. Peach obtained. Hello. Right. Can't deny it's daunting to come here no matter how often I do it, but I'm glad you're with me. Okay. A new page on Alfred in the Ally Notebook. Okay. So we then uh, cycle countries. Alfred. Initial class noble. Birthday August 8th. August 8th. Basic info. info. Grand Prince of Furinay, he arrived at Lethos Castle on the night it was attacked along with retainers, Boucheron and Eti. Uh, okay, so... I'm assuming at some point these update, or maybe it just gives you- it's just like a brief info on when you first saw them. Alright, hello. Yes! The Somnial might seem quite quiet, but I'm sure it's going to get pretty lively, plus we're here! Let's do the support. I want to see what a support's like in this game. Divine One, what are you doing? Oh, hello, clan. I was just tidying up a bit. Tomorrow's a busy day, so I thought I'd get it out of the way now. I do apologize for getting this guy's name mixed up. I'm sure they said it, they've said it differently. So it's just clan. Okay, we'll just say it clan then. Well, let me take care of that. You should get some rest. That's all right. I can handle it. No, no, that won't do. I'm gonna have to insist. But... Please. You know, I waited a long time for you to wake up. And not just me. The stewards before me spent their whole lives waiting. Now, after a thousand years, I get to serve you. It's like a miracle. So, please, let me do it. Honestly, truly, I would be honored to help. <laughs> Very well. You've convinced me. I'll leave it to you. Thank you, Divine One. <laughs> I should be thanking you for taking such great care of me. I'm very lucky to have you as a steward. You mean it? Oh man, I'm so happy I can faint! <laughs> Please don't. Now that I'm free from tidying up, I'm going to get some rest. Oh. Okay. So yeah, support conversations are um, much shorter in this one. <laughs> Uh, that's fine. Uh, let's do... Did we not do the support of Fander? Wait. Or have we got the... Oh, they've got one between each other! Okay, I understand. They haven't got each got one with us. I was like, why wouldn't we have done the one with Vander when we were there? But, I don't know. Anyway. Plan. Likes the Divine Dragon. Cleaning. Studying. Cooking. Reading. Pickles. Philosophy. Dislikes. Bugs. Exercise. Scary stories. Riding in vehicles. Himself when he's in a bad mood. Alright. Well, that's clan. Um, what have we got here? Horse manure. As a gift. Lovely. Do you want some horse manure, uh, manure Fram? You see... Queen Lamera loved to stand at the edge of the Somnial and look down on all the pretty clouds. You probably don't want the horse manure. I'm just going to take a stab in the dark. To be honest, I don't know who wants horse manure and it feels like a bad thing to get wrong. 
Oh wait, we have two things for clan. Okay. So I guess you get what ah uh, you must get one once you do a support conversation. Yes, you see how it's got bronze and then it's got silver? I see. Clan. Initial class mage. Birthday March 10th. Basic info. Fram's twin, 33rd steward of the dragon, following in Vander's footsteps. Was present when Divine Dragon Alpax awoke. Fram. Initial class martial monk. Birthday March 10th. Basic info. Clan's twin. 33rd steward of the dragon, following in Vander's footsteps, was present when Divine Dragon Alpax awoke. Okay, cool. Right, continue exploring. Seeing what else we can find in this area. So I think that's it there. Um, I do know some other things that should be around on here. So I believe there's somewhere where you should be able to scan amiibos. And I have some like fake amiibo cards that we can scan. But, uh, I don't know where that is, or if it's even here yet. I also don't know what it gives you. Um, in three houses it gave you music. And music was fine, right? M music's generally okay. Um, in three hopes, I think it was giving you, like, items to use in game. I'm less into that as an idea. Like, I'm more into, like, it gives you some sort of, you know, music or some cosmetic. And it's like, it gives you an item, I'm less into it because it's like, well, is the game balanced around you having this item? And either way, the answer is bad. Like, either it isn't balanced around you having the item, and there therefore you are overpowered, or it is balanced behind you having the item, therefore it expects people to have bought it in order to be able to do that. So either way, it doesn't really fit the way you would want it to. Anyway, um, just thinking how I want to explore here. Let's go down this way. Right, and we'll go all the way to the end, and then we'll kind of cut back to the left there. On the way back. Unless this is just a way out. It's got some kind of icon on the map. Where does this take us? The Tower of Trials? It's locked up for now. Okay. So that must just be a combat area? Like, just a pure combat trial kind of thing? Okay. Interesting. Um, ooh, items. Bond fragments. I don't know what bond fragments are either. Assuming there's something to do with the uh, fact that you can get bond levels with the different, uh, yeah, with the different emblems. This appears to be some sort of shrine. Okay, sure. Fine. I will ignore it then if that's what you would like. Wheat flour obtained. Well, it sounds like we're opening a bakery. It's the place where we can lounge by the pool. Every uh, dragon lair needs one. Uh, we'll head along this way. We got along here. We've got... A pretty pebble. Stable. It's locked up for now. Milk. Eggs. We are starting a bakery. Okay, fair enough. A tree. Okay. Uh, anything else up here? A house? Belonging, I guess, to, I would assume someone like Vander. For here, let's double check. Yeah, so we've explored that side. Uh, so, yeah, we just need to explore the top right. Well, there's nobody actually there, but that's okay. Some freaky looking horses. That's fine. Uh, nothing else over here. I don't even know if there are any items um, in here. Nope. Pretty much nothing. A well with nothing in it. Okay, cool. Now we do have a few extra areas that we can go to at the back of the cafe. So let's go have a look at those. Um, wait, what's the area that's over here? That's the part, okay. It just it looks like another, um, like you can go this way area. What about this one? Arena. It's locked up for now. Okay, back this way. So that must be the arena too. Yeah, so it's a different way to the arena. Uh, oh, that's our room at the top. Ring chamber. It's locked up for now. Okay. 
Okay, I guess I will, um, um, leave? Sure, I think it's time to leave. I mean, you know what we should do? We should advance things forward today, do the support that we've got, and then leave. Just to see what happens if we advance it today. I do it once. I mean, I don't hate how it looks at night, but, you know, maybe it's different at day. I wonder why it gets you to go into this different zone to make you advance day forward. It doesn't seem like that's necessary. But maybe there's um, something it can do. Double check our difficulty. We're now on Maddening. No, no, that's fine. That's what I want to be on. I just wanted to confirm. It's a good time to check. If we weren't on Maddening, it's not that maddening to, like, undo things. Sounds like someone's coming in. And who's on wake-up duty today? It's Clan, the 33rd Steward of the Dragon. Is there a correct way for a steward to wake the Divine Dragon? I suppose I could just call out normally. I'll ask Vander how to do it. Wait, no. That'll make him mad. Uh, I'm sorry. This isn't a good way to wake you up. But here's your morning greeting. Good morning, Divine One. All right. Well, that was weird. That was just weird. Okay. Sure. Well, we've done it now. And, um... Well, I'm not sure we ever need to do it again, but we've done it now. Uh, let me check the achievements board as well. I just realized... Yeah, um, that's what we've been getting, all these little pings. I wonder whether you get anything for doing the achievements. Or whether it's just like a... Here's a star for doing something. It's probably just here's a star, but that's okay. You change seat. Okay. They're di in different places during the uh, day. Good to know. Oh, when it says these are locked up for now. Yeah, okay. It's not a daytime thing or a nighttime thing. It's just a, they're locked up for now. Achievements is now in the guide. Oh, yeah. Look at that. We get bond fragments. Oh, clay mall. Perfect. <laughs> I was really wondering there whether it was going to make me go through everything individually. Okay. So, yeah, once we do all of these, we can then, yeah, get more bond fragments. Okay, I don't really know what bond fragments are used for yet, though. Um, System guide? The Somniel? Achievements. On the achievement screen, you can claim bond fragment rewards for various deeds. You'll be notified when you complete an achievement. Remember to collect your well-earned bond fragments. Yeah, I, I only have one question. Uh, what's a bond fragment? Okay, sure. Uh, it doesn't actually have an answer for me. Right, uh, I guess we'll save and then go into combat? Sure, why not? Why not? Right, uh, go. Depart. Next chapter. Does it just throw us into combat? Do we get some other kind of map to do things on? No, oh, chapter four, a land in bloom. Here we are, the kingdom of Firenae. What a beautiful place. Isn't it? And no sign of the corrupted, so that's good. That was quite a trip, crossing the sea all the way from Lethos. I hope you're not worn out. I'm fine. Good, good. Listen, I'm sorry for toasting your arm to come with me. Alfred, it's all right. I wanted to come. How about before we arrive at the castle, you tell me more about this kingdom of yours? Happy to. Let's see. Birne is one of the four nations of Elios in the southwest. It's ruled by my mother, Queen Ev. We're known as, a uh, land of plenty. Our people value peace above all else. We haven't seen war for centuries. You must come from a long line of capable leaders. That's kind of you to say. Peace doesn't always come easy. Mother had to hammer out a non-aggression pact with our neighbors. 
The pact says there won't be war between us, Solm, and Brodia. Right. Solm, the Queendom of Freedom, and Brodia, the Kingdom of Might. You've got it. Solm is an open-minded country. They've always had good relations with Firenae. But an alliance with Brodia took some doing. Their king's an ambitious man. He's always launching attacks on Elugia to expand his own territory. I take it Elugia isn't in the Alliance. No. Honestly, they're so far away, we don't interact with them too much. We know it's snowy there, with long winters, and that some Elugians worship the Fell Dragon. The Fell Dragon? It's troubling, I know. But people can believe what they believe. Sorry, I didn't bring it up to turn you against Elugia. It's not them I hate. It's the Fell Dragon. Him and the one who killed my mother. Can you tell me more about the emblem ring that was entrusted to Firene? Oh, sure. It's the Ring of the Caring Princess. Doesn't look like anything special. Until I met you and Marth, I thought the emblems were legends. I can't wait to tell my sister they exist. She'll really be knocked for a loop. You have a sister? Yeah, the Princess of Firene, Saline. She's at the castle with Mother right now. Princess Saline. I look forward to meeting her. Just call her Saline. I'm sure you two will get along great. Alrighty then. And off we go. Here's Flora Milltown. Castle's close now. We'll just cut through here and... <sighs> Something's off. What is it? I think there might be trouble ahead. Combat? Maybe? I do like seeing our party run along the bottom. It's a shame you can't make them jump like you did in uh, Three Houses though. Oh, I don't like the connecting uh, pop up here. Does that mean we have lost connection to the Nintendo online services? Oh no. Nope, doesn't mean anything apparently. The Corrupted. They're everywhere. I can't stand to see them overrunning this peaceful town. I have to drive them away. Divine One, will you help me? Of course. Danger looms from every side. I fear we will never make it to my brother. Princess Saley, I beg you to make your retreat. We'll handle this. More of the fiends might be on the way. Hurry! Louis! Chloe, you can't possibly expect me to. It is our sworn duty to protect the princess. We will hold the line for you as long as we must. You have to leave. If you should fall here, who warns Prince Alfred of the invasion to come? I can see the point, but I'll return for you both. Please hold out until then. <laughs> Apologies, Chloe. It pains me greatly to separate you from Princess Saline. Or even a relatively brief amount of time. Might I say, I'm a bit disappointed I didn't get to see you run off with her highness yourself. A knight should never leave his princess's side. The sooner we win, the sooner that will come to pass. What say you, Chloe? Shall we? Yes, let's. All right, new party members, maybe. Hey, and it lets us choose what we want to do, so I can assign emblem rings. Select emblem rings to partner your allies with emblems. Once partnered, an ally can sync with an emblem in battle. To pair an ally and an emblem, select an ally followed by the emblem ring. What is showing on the screen right here is exactly what I want to do. So I want to go Alfred with Sigurd. Now there is also an argument, by the way, to say, hey, actually I'm gonna go with someone like Marth and then it gives him like the ability to use the rapier for extra uh, benefits that you wouldn't normally have. But this is, we got a type bonus here. What does that mean? I don't know what type bonus means. But okay, we'll get it. Sigurd, I am ready. Do we get a type bonus on Gallop? So maybe you get more um, than we normally would? Interesting. Okay, sure. So can I see what details that gives us? Ah, Cavalry grants an extra plus two movement. Nice, well that's perfect then, okay. 
we have any inventory stuff we need to look at? Uh, no, I think we have exactly what we can have. You have uh, two stacks of Vulinaries? Uh, I'm just going to take that stack then. That's fine. Right. Um, I don't think anyone has any equipment to optimize. I think we're ready to go. Let's do a save and then we'll try this. I don't really know what we need to do yet. So let's just go for it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, nobody needs to move around. Fight. Alfred! Saline? What are you doing here? I thought you were with Mother. I was, but Alfred, the Illusion army is marching on the castle. What? Why? I cannot say. Before they arrived, Mother sent me to warn you. But then we were ambushed on our way to Flora Port. Louis and Chloe stayed behind so that I might have a chance to escape. Please, we must hurry back to them. Absolutely. Pardon me, Princess Saline, but do you have the emblem ring? Yes, Mother gave it to me. Why do you... Goodness gracious! The Divine Dragon? You're here! You're awake! I am. May I say, it is truly an honor. The emblem ring is right here. Please, Divine One, it is yours. The words... They're coming to me. Care for us, Emblem of Echoes. I am Emblem Celica. I detest violence, but I will always fight to defend the innocent. Thank you for answering my call. So, this is the emblem that was in Firinae's ring. Emblem Celica? How marvelous! Divine One, with your blessing, and hers of course, I would like to fight by Celica's side. I must protect the people of this village and ensure Louis and Chloe's safety. I entrust this ring to you, Saline. Saline, Louis, and Chloe joined your group. I won't be able to get very far with these archers everywhere. How about this? I take care of the archers and you deal with the magic users. Good idea. While their spells will go right through your armor, I'm resistant to magic. So leave the mages to me. It's not so bad protecting each other, now is it? Indeed. This is a nice change of pace. Okay, so we have info about armor units now in the guide. Victory, defeat Rodin. Defeat, Alpex is defeated. Okay, let's go into the guide then and have a look at the uh, two tutorials it's giving us. So, uh, inventory, that's fine. I think I can kind of work out what we're doing here. Yeah, that's all fine. Uh, down here, looking for effectiveness. Some weapons have effectiveness against certain things. That's fine. Uh, we're looking for armored units. Armored units do not break when attacked with a weapon that has advantage. Their high HP and defense make some reliable frontline units, but low resistance can leave them vulnerable to magic. Flying units ignore terrain effects and can pass through squares inaccessible to units on the ground. While these units can navigate the battlefield with ease, they are vulnerable to bows. If you head into battle while connected to the network, spirits representing other players' past battles may appear on the map. Yellow spirits appear when many allied units have fallen, or uh, where many allied units have fallen. Earn XP and bond XP by waiting in these spaces. Purple spirits appear where foes may have fallen. Wait in these spaces to pick up items they left behind. Then enemy item drops. You can see if an enemy has an item because it shows an item next to them. And what's interesting is you can kind of use this to tell you um, like information about the um, about combat before you get in. Like, for instance, you see this here. This is saying there's a spirit here and there's a spirit here. So what happens a lot is the person in this slot kills this person and then dies, right? That's interesting to know. 
And you can kind of do some more things with that. You can go like, hey, people die here, here and here, a lot, and here. So there's a lot of deaths for this group. And there's a lot of killing of enemies that happens on this bridge here. Okay, interesting. Um, let's have a look at you first. Let's see what you've got going on. Uh, unit details. So, uh, details. Gentle flower. Recovery items used by allies within two spaces heal 50% HP. So, it, immediately I'm thinking you're kind of a backline character, as in you're meant to sit behind people who are healing. If a corrupted unit attack... If a corrupted attacks unit deals 10% of damage back to full. Used to attack with magic at 50% uh, damage. Use a second time to launch another 50% attack. Mystical 10% extra damage. Used to warp up to 10 spaces and make a magical, a powerful magic attack. Mystical does 20% extra damage. And also we get Seraphim uh, as our spell here. So instead of our fire spell, we get this spell, which is more effective against Corrupted. Okay. But we're not... F are we fighting Corrupted? Um... Yes, yes we are. Okay. Interesting. I'm looking at this here and I'm thinking the obvious the answer word. is to move you up and attack. And then just kill. It's kind of what we've been what's been hinted at here. Um yeah, I think I just move here and I just kill you. I, I don't see a reason not to do this. We do take damage back, but sure. This seems sensible. We get hit, and then we hit again. Right. I'm sorry. There's our emblem power. Uh, lots of people die this on this square, so apparently. I don't want to do that. Yeah, let's go to this square and get ourselves some XP. Visit, speak to people in houses, yes. Thank you for warning me. Here, use this to bring peace to our land. I didn't check what he does, but I got 2,000 G apparently, which is something we've currently had no use for. Uh, money, that is. Okay, so you have admiration. If two female allies are adjacent within two spaces, this unit takes two less damage during combat. Okay. And then you? Fairy tale folk. If a male and a female ally are adjacent within two spaces, unit deals two pl plus two damage during combat. Okay, fair enough. So all of that's fine. Let's figure out where we want people to go. So you're going to be good against that one up there. You're going to be neutral. Yeah, I'm aware. Thank you. Look at that house. The gate is wide open. We'd better warn them to lock up so the corrupted don't get in. Yes, a little wooden gate will definitely uh, do the job. Uh, we could head here. Is there any way that we can move in? Trying to figure out where we, who, where we can actually move people in here. Yeah. So I can move you up and shoot, but that's not going to help us exactly. How far can you move? You can move up to there, up to there. So it's these two squares that they can move up to. So if we leave those two squares, we're actually looking okay. I won't you can run lost. up and stop that person from getting advantage. You, you could run up and then attack from the side. Yeah, let's do that. So run up. Oh, who's the person who can attack all the way over here? It's an axe user. That's fine. Right, attack. Go for it. Okay, so we broke them. Nice. Can I move you in behind dragon. here? I could, but we're not getting uh, the actual hit in there. As in, it's not... Emblem Celica. It is an honor. So it was your voice I heard on the way from the castle. I am glad you're here with me. I feel the same, Saline. I will fight by your side from now on. Together, we will protect that which you hold dear. Thank you. With Selica's help, I ought to be able to reach Chloe and Louis more quickly. Okay. Uh, as I was saying, and was explaining badly before I was saying, uh, we're not actually going to be able to get the kill there, so it's not ideal in our current circumstance. 
Uh, now, I could engage and jump over to these two over here. I don't think I need to do that yet. I think I'm okay. I'm okay for our current situation. Um, now, we get a new thing in our menu. Let's have a look in here. Have a look at battle and see what... Visiting? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Uh, that's all okay. I want emblems. So there's Marth, which we've already read. Emblem uh, Celica wields powerful magic attack. She's uh, she a valuable asset against corrupted foes. The Zinc skill Holy Stance reflects some of the damage received from corrupted foes against the attacker. Engaged Weapon Seraphim deals bonus damage to corrupted foes. The engaged skill Echo allows a unit to initiate combat twice using a tome at the cost of 50% damage. The engage attack Warp Ragnarok teleports the user to a space near a distant enemy and attacks with powerful magic. Okay. I think that we are fine there. Let's just chill. Um, okay. The I most sensible weapon. plan would be to move you forward and attack. So let's just do that. That's the sensible plan. It's not necessarily, you know, the most exciting plan in terms of what we could do, but it works. Okay. It's that's the bottom after. Just see where the attack ranges go to. Your steward's ready. So I'm going to move you up with the assumption that we're going to need to heal further up there. Let me just see where the attack ranges go to. Okay, so I'm going to move you here because you can likely attack over the top. We'll leave this. We'll leave this one. Um, you know what? Here is fine. Um, For you, anything. Gonna move down. Well, you're only really good against uh, swords, so let's move you up here. Wait there. Okay. I'm gonna move you here for just now. Uh, yeah, move you here. And I can we'll fight. Move us there. Perfect. I think this is fine. So we got them running into combat, but that's okay. So he took some damage. Hopefully you don't destroy the house that's there. <laughs> These houses are ripe for the picking. Time for a good old fashioned village pillage. The crystal, it's glowing. Where did you get that? It was in the ring vault. Vander found it after the battle at Lethos Castle. Why? Do you know what this is? A draconic time crystal. An artifact capable of reversing time itself. Oh, so this is how we get uh, this mechanic. There is a limit to its power, but still, it could give us a keen advantage. Time crystal, huh? So it's not just a pretty piece of jewelry. Since we have it, I suggest we put it to use. Give it a try. Uh, you can use the Draconic Time Crystal to rewind and retry actions you take in battle. Select the Time Crystal from the menu, use up and down to select how far you would like to go and select and confirm with A. Okay. Well, I want to attack here. I want to engage and attack that one. Um, how much damage can I get you to do? Reasonable amount. Okay, I'm just thinking about this here. If I was to, in theory, play this one, engage, attack, lodestar rush, using this, I would kill you. Perfect, do so. My prayers are with you. And then this one gets extremely killed. Nice. I cannot afford to lose. Happy with that one. All next P between Alpex and Marth is at max. Select Bond in the reference menu on the thumbnail or word world map to increase Bond level further. Okay, so we probably have to have a conversation or something. So you're gonna do uh, how much damage? You're gonna do ten damage. Okay. How much damage would you do? We do 11 damage, that leaves him with 6 health. Okay, we could do that. 
seeing where everything else is here. Yeah, it's gonna end up in fight. Okay, so attack. Nice. Follow up by moving you down here, and then we're going to attack. That's fine. Okay. And then we're going to move Alfred down here, and we're going to attack the one in the middle. Which will clear this bit of the fight. Perfect. This is what I trained for. That seems good. Oh, and then I can move after, and I can move to this square. Oh, that doesn't count. Uh, okay, that's annoying. Anyway, um, let's move you over here and attack him. I'm actually thinking, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to move you forward. I'm going to use weight. Just sit them there. Then I'm going to attack. This gets us the chain attack damage. You shouldn't be able to attack. Oh, you have hand axe. Oh, no, you can attack back. That's fine. I mean, your health isn't fine, but that's fine. Okay. Can you kill? You can. Perfect. So attack in here. That'll get us an item as well. Need some help? So another chain attack. And then 13 damage. So we did actually need the chain attacks to kill this thing. Then obtain the hand axe, which we could probably use immediately. I'm gonna move up and I'm gonna heal um Boucheron, because he's gonna be a frontliner for it. That's way off. Nice. Bram gets some healing. Nice. That all seems good. Over here, we got some other problems. I kind of want to move you back to attack that one. Uh, yeah, let's see what we got here. You're in a little bit of danger. Could attack here? Maybe? Yeah, attack. Well, I need... I would need you to kill the one that you're on. Do you have a way to kill them? No. In which case, I'm going to do some... What's your range? Your range is only to there. Okay. I'm going to do something bold. If I move back there, the archer's going to shoot him. That's fine. Okay, I'm going to move here and wait. I'm going to fly you. There's nowhere safe. Wait. Cancel, cancel. Wanted to fly you somewhere kind of safe. But there doesn't appear to be anywhere that fits that description. <laughs> ah. Okay. We might have to reload immediately. Well, not re reload, I mean, like, reverse time. Let's attack here. Let's see how this goes. Ugh, that's I'm not good. To dig in. Oh, I'm about to die. Simple enough. Well, we killed them. Let's see how this phase goes. We might get extremely lucky. Oh, or not. We might not get extremely lucky. I always knew that. No. Okay. I wish to skip the entirety of the enemy's turn because it doesn't matter. Right now, I want to reverse time. How do I reverse time? Which button do we reckon it is? Menu. Time crystal. There we go. So I actually want to go back to before Celine used, did her turn. Which means I actually want to go back to here. I want to redo my turn, basically. So I think we have to jump over here to try and kill. I think we have to jump over here and like blast the arrow person. Yeah, okay. So engage. I feel a great power within. We have united, haven't we? My resolve is strong. I will protect my people. I will protect everyone. Okay. Then I would like to activate Warp Ragnarok. I am resolved to fight for peace. Hold on, you two. I am on my way. This feels right because we're getting dialogue about it. 
I would like to do this. Yeah, this seems correct. Blast him. Please hit both of the people over there and not just one of the two. My apologies. I think it was AoE. Just want to double check that it was though. It was not AoE. Okay, um, I'd like to time crystal. Okay. Let's try that again. Uh, you? Engage. I feel yeah, yeah, we've had the text. Thank you. And now I'd like to, to be here, use Warp Ragnarok. I am resolved. Move to this square. Kill that one. Do it. And they're dead. Good. Allow your soul the rest it deserves. So that clears that space. I think that means you can walk around there, right? Yeah, I think that you can walk around and attack. That's fine. Good to know. So I'm thinking we move up here and attack, probably. Um. Just working out here. If I move up to this one, you can only be hit by the one that's next to you. Okay, perfect. So, we want to do, well, we don't really want this guy to hit her. You move here, are you okay? You're fine, okay, attack. Kill. Let's see if this works. We might need to do another, um, like, rewind, but I think this is okay-ish. I might just need to move after. there and heal. Okay, it's so got XP for standing in the slot. If I move here, I think it blocks them from being able to actually move to hit her. Could be wrong. Though. Let's see. I am wrong. Okay, so... Oh, no, I'm not. Look at that. They can't move to hit her. Fantastic. So that side's solved now. The other side's become more difficult, but that's okay. We will engage, we will load Star Rush, we will use Rapier, we will kill. Fate this, I think, is correct. I don't think there's any way we can see this as the correct. That just seems right. I live to fight again. Okay. Bond XP maxes, that's fine. Uh, I want to have a look at your... I want to see what... Yeah, what does Rider's Bane do? good against cavalry. It does have a lot of damage. I'm wondering whether if I used Rider's Bane here, that would allow me a kill. Um, override. That doesn't really seem to do anything. Uh, attack. So that will do 15 damage. I don't think that's enough. No, I don't think, no, either, I don't think doing that is enough there. So I would need to send you down, maybe. You can't do it ranged. Can you even hit here? Uh, could you move into the slot that she's in? She wasn't there. Probably not, right? No, how far back can you move? Again, not far enough. Huh, okay, so I think this one's just going to uh, exist. So what I might do I might engage, then override, because that lets you move through. And let's see how this goes. Raise your sword. Here go. Cool. I was just looking to block that slot, basically. Okay. Doesn't count as the thing, but that's okay, we knew that doesn't actually count as um, as them waiting at that slot. You're going to take a step forward. Use a Vulinary. Head forward and attack. You will be attacked back, but we can heal you. This is a better version of what we did last time. Did we get hit? Did we hit back? Bando now moves in here and attacks. 
Perfect. That was a miss. We had exactly the right amount of damage to kill, luckily. Gets us the hand axe. Cool. You can now head up here, and you can heal. Seems like a good use of your time. Thank you. Right. I think we've got a solution that means that we live. Yeah, sure, attack me. Oh, you broke. Never mind, you did attack me. Okay. Hey, it missed. Perfect. That's the one of the more dangerous bits about that side. Okay. Wow, lots of people moving in, huh? Uh. Our foes are strong. I can just attack you and kill you. Well, that seems like a sensible thing to do. It would kill us though first. Um. Just shoot this one, potentially. I could shoot this one after having moved Al. Yeah, move Alfred. Move here. Shoot. That seems like a sensible plan. Um, how's your attack here look? That's a lot of damage. Move here, attack. Yeah, that's more damage. Let's do it. This seems fine. Okay. It was a chance of a dodge, but we didn't get it. That's okay. Uh, wait here for the XP. Or bond fragments, that's fine. Move her over. We can then attack back this way. She can visit next turn. Pretty weak. Cool. Uh, you could possibly be here. Uh, I think you're going to be more useful further up this way, and then I'll just do a heal. Yeah. Of our vulnerary. This side. I'm ready for more. Good block there. Good attack. How about you attacking here? That seems sensible. Big hit. Times by two. Um. We just use chain guard here. I think this would be okay. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, what's our chance of killing this person? Not bad. Uh, we could throw that from range, I suppose. We could do this attack with the hand axe from range. Do 13 damage. And how much damage do you do? You do. 14 damage. Okay. That sounds good to me. Let's move you up. Throw a hand axe at you. Low chance of hitting, but we did. Wonderful. I'm going to move him up and attack. Should be a kill. We hit. We didn't hit. Ow. Well, that's not great. Um, how's your attack look here? No damage. Uh, working out where you can go. So you can go that way. I could do no damage here. I could also just heal. Yeah, I think we might have screwed ourselves again. I'm going to try using Chain Guard here. And we'll see how that works. Okay, over this side of the combat, where things are still going a little bit iffy. Um, you need to leave. I'm getting hungry. You need to like not take as much damage as you're taking. This square seems pretty good. You're 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 being attacked by very little. Let's use one of those. Okay, right. I will do what I must. I'm trying to figure out a square I can stand where I can attack, but I'm not being attacked by everything. 
This would probably be fine. We could do Seraphim. Does 13 damage. With Echo does 13. So that is Echo 13. Or 19 damage. Uh, let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, that works. Kill. Nice. I want to help you. So they're down. Level up. Got magic three. Um, that's fine to let him be attacked so he can attack back. Yeah, do it. So wait here. Okay, dangers of dying are over top left. Let's see. You should be fine in terms of dying, as in you should live. I think. Maybe. Although there is a chance he dies. You're dead. Okay, we need to reload that. Okay. That was due to missing. Don't cry for me. Which means that the strategy was probably doomed to fail. And then you're gonna kill her. Alright, that was a dodge. Not a guaranteed dodge though. And it might have killed either way. And then you leave Fram with one HP. Yeah, okay. And now let's just check this side is fine. Uh, you dare? Oh, uh, you lived. Okay. We're losing ground, are we? Well, that's easy to remedy. Release the corrupted. Oh, release more enemies. Oh, lovely. Um, right, a uh, time crystal. So unfortunately we need to go back to the start of our phase because the very start was kind of screwed. Yeah, begin player phase. So I actually think bottom side needs to retreat as well. Uh, up here was fine. I was, I'm, I'm happy with this one. I'm not totally happy, but I'm happy enough to leave it where it is, right? As long as we don't get crit, this side kind of works. Allow Although now that we know deserves. that the flying one will not attack him, uh, I have something different to do here. I'm going to move you to this square. Let's talk. Louis, thank goodness. Princess Saline, how relieved I am to see you unharmed. Hmm? You seem different. The Divine Dragon brought Emblem Celica forth from my ring. I am imbued with her strength. Ooh, not only is it a talk, it's a talk unique to her having already been engaged, as in, um, it, not just in normal form. Pardon? The Divine Dragon is here? Indeed. I will explain everything later. For now, let us restore order here. I promise I will never leave you behind again. Come, let us fight together. As you wish. Princess Saline and Emblem Celica. What a pair. Cool. Wait here. We can then move this one back. And I will use a vulnerary. Cool. Right. This all seems pretty good. Also, we can get a re-up on her um, emblem power in two turns, which will be good. I'm tempted to run you over here and to shoot the archer. Yeah, that seems like a sensible plan. Let's move him up here and attack. The clan up here. Hit the corrupted twice. Good. We then run 80 up here, attack. Which is not a kill, but it's not that far off. Okay. Um, how far can you run? Well, you could get all the way around there, but how far can you run? Not, not far enough. Okay. Um, what's the attack here? It is 73%. Okay, what's your ability to kill this guy? It's at 98. Okay, 98 to kill. That seems pretty good. Uh, you, what's your chance to hit here? Your chance to hit is 78. Do it. I think you can do it. I believe in you. 
Nice. Cool. And now we will attack here. Which should... Once we attack... Should clear that side of the combat. Nice. So this now leaves us a huge open space to retreat back into. So you're going to head here. I'm going to use a vulnery. We're then going to attack. Attack here. Cool. I will protect you. I'm tempted to just move back a space. Be double hit. I don't know how much damage they're going to do to us, though. Let's try this. We still have uh, rewinds. And yeah, you can go up here into the fort. I forgot that we can go up here. Because I saw the enemy do it. Right, there we go. Thank you. Just heal from on top of the fort. Cool. That's a much better turn. Now, I'm hoping he lives because I want him to visit soon. I also want to protect them from destroying it. Okay, they do 10 to us. We do 10 back. Okay. I've realized a problem we're going to have here. But that's okay. The problem is that he's not going to have enough health to actually kill the two now that he's there. But Okay, they're moving in. We're losing ground. And then Rodin summons two more. But they're further away than we are. So that's fine. Okay. If I was to get you to attack, you're looking at in terms of damage, 12. Okay. Let's leave you where you are. I've got this. Yeah, you can't really get anything there. I think we just have to retreat and leave it. At least just for the second in time. Although, how do you feel about killing this one? How many rewinds do I have? <laughs> I have... It doesn't say... I have seven charges. Okay, I think we got time to try this. I'm going to move you here and I'm going to attack with the... Rider's Bane. Okay. My logic is... Oh, the bond increased. Grant two attack at the cost of uh, minus 10 avo when using a lance. Oh, that's dangerous. Uh, I'm going to move there. That's fine. I, yeah, there was my thought, is that we could probably get the kill here. <laughs> Which means that all we need is for the uh, archer to uh, I cannot like, not to be able to kill him next turn. Which I think is the case. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, uh, neither of you are reaching the combat this turn, which means that we're kind of like just sorting out what we've got here. Whatever you ask. Um, okay, so what's we'll strong? What is? All right, let me start with this. Uh, I think the lance is strong against a axe, right? We'll check. So the battle, the reinforcements, that's fine. They arrive from the edge of battle or forts, fair enough. Or sometimes just wherever they feel like it. Breaking enemies. So, Lance is strong against a uh, sword. Okay, Lance is strong against sword. So you're strong against the one that you're next to. So we could attack here. I could attack here. That realistically means they could only attack back from one direction. The problem is, with doing that, that that doesn't actually solve the issue of her being in extreme danger. We could run all the way over here. That gets her out of range. How do you feel I'm about still killing quite him? Capable. You don't feel great about killing him. Okay. What about who? What about here? 
Okay, only two are attacking there. I think that's fine-ish. Okay, so let's try this. I think this will work. So I can attack two separate times with this. So it's going to do nine damage. Or I can attack using this. That's 18. This does less. Okay. Wait, no, that does... Sorry, that's 14 damage. And this does 15 damage. Yeah, so do that. Hit it. Got him. Okay. So what I wanted to see is, can you kill him? No, but I could probably use our javelin to do nine damage. It's a low chance of success. Let's see if it works. Nice. Okay. So now all we need to do is move you here and kill. Yeah, do so. Nice. <laughs> I think that means that he'll live. Alright, let's get Vander as far around here as possible. We'll move uh, Boucher on up as well. Keep moving people up. Uh, you'll be fine on that side. Yeah, let's move you up. Let's move you... Nope. Move you up here, and then heal as well, just to get him to full HP. Because it gets us some XP. Sorry to trouble you. Cool. Right. I think we live. I haven't, you know, mapped it out, but I think we live. That's fine. You attack the perfect target, honestly. Yeah, that did one damage. Feeling pretty good about the damage that did. Okay, they got the chain attack, but the actual attacks do no damage. So your tail is cool. Maybe I shouldn't have been so worried about him. He is wearing armor after all. Uh, okay, so when it was telling us people might appear from forts, what it meant is people will immediately appear from forts. Okay, um, let me just test something here. That's how much damage we're taking back. Uh, we would take back eight. Okay. So a little bit here lower until health. The end. Um, I'm going to attack you here. There we go. It should be a kill. Scatter like it's a crit. Okay. Good nice. to know. Then you're going to... Is there a way over this side? There is. Uh, I think I want you to go this way. Then here. Uh, I just want to make sure I, what I have equipped is right. I think it is, yeah. I'm just going to visit. What's that? Monsters here? Gosh, all. Thanks for letting me know. I take this might come in useful. Javelin obtained. Okay, sure. I think you're gonna live as well. Okay, up here. Well, I can just shoot you with the archer. Seems like a sensible thing to do. Yep. And then, can I kill you with this one? No, I only do two damage. So I need to do something like this, then attack. 73% chance. Okay, nice. Uh, ultimately, I probably should have moved him first, maybe? I don't know. It, it's 50-50 on that one for me. Okay, so I don't want them to attack over the top. So I'd love to move up and attack here. Uh, yeah, so let's see if what we can do about that. Move here and attack. Kill this one. Or at least deal damage to it. Um, you can do damage to this one. I think if I move you back, 
I can do my talk first. Chloe, I am relieved to see you're all right. You too, Princess Celine. I was able to find Alfred and the Divine Dragon, no less. After that, the Divine One summoned Emblem Celica from within my ring. A noble dragon summoning ancient spirits to save the day. That sounds just like a fairy tale. It does. Now that I have this power, let's give this story a happy ending, shall we? Let's do it. Okay, attack. Very good. Okay. You're gonna move here and attack. Fine. We do get hit back, but that's okay. He's a lot of health. If anyone's going to be hit back, it's fine. Yeah, move back and uh, use a vulnerary in the bush. Take heal because he's near uh, her. And then I could do this to try and block. We'll get broken, but that would be fine, I think. Uh, well, I guess actually we might just do this. We're Double check what your movement range is. Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to do this. We're fine with um, her being hit because it's magic versus ar armor, so that should be okay. You're the only one we haven't moved yet. I don't want to move you into danger, so we'll just move here and wait. They could hit our other magic user as well, but we'll be fine. Okay, one kill for him. Louis is continuing to level up. Nice. Okay, double miss. You're also going to try and hit him? Alright, well that's fine I guess. We'll just hit you back. And then don't die. Okay. It's a little bit more dangerous down here, but like... It's okay. How much damage are you doing? 11, but you do break. Yeah, okay. We'll do that. Okay. Um, I want to reload so I can optimally collect rewards from the ground. As in not reload, but like go back in time one. How many time crystal charges do I have? Seven. Okay, I will. Because I am that crazy. Right, so head back here. Attack. So why is this more optimal? Well, we can end him on the purple uh, thing at the end of his turn, which gets us an item. There we go. So now we can wait here. It's a surge. Stay strong. You can then go here and attack. It's broken, so it can't attack back. And it means that uh, <laughs> we are on the same one as the uh, experience. Or the bond fragments. Okay, cool. So they're alive down there. They need to heal, but they're alive. Um... Let's get you to blast this corrupted. Cool. So that's clan. A little bit more uh, leveled up. You're going to just need to run forward. There's not really a lot else to do with your time. Um, I can attack you. There we go. Might as well just blast it on top of the tower for 12. Means nobody else needs to get nearby to do it. Attack with the javelin. Don't really care what the uh, chance of hitting is. Wait, did her um, ability just activate? Uh, yeah, it did, didn't it? Or fair tail folk. So adjacent within two spaces. Adjacent within two spaces means that this is okay. Oh, okay, that's much more useful than I thought Let it was going to be. Let us be off. Just because of that, that little difference. Attack. Nice. Cleared that one. 
Okay. You move up here and get some experience. It is a space where people die a lot, apparently, but... Didn't even get his experience, because that wasn't what we were getting on that particular one. Let's move all the way up. Uh, yeah, move as far as you can. Cool. Enemy phase. No reinforcements, please. Ah. <laughs> okay. Um, it does get you heal per turn while you're up here, so we might as well do that. You're a little bit far away to join the combat. Let's, let's get you around this way. Oh, I should have... Ah, oh, well, I should have healed on his turn, but that's okay. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> this was not ideal. Um, you attack here? No. Hmm. You could attack if you went up here. It's not great, but you could. Let's do it. Nice. Uh, get you to attack over the top to this one. Would put you in range of the archer. That should be fine. There we go. A little blasting. Okay. Um, move up here. Move up here. Don't think that actually matters that it's emblem stuff because we don't have any emblems on there. Move up. Uh, heal him. Just a tiny amount. Healing better. All right, and I'm hoping that Vander can basically tank everything. She levels up to level two. I've been told as well that these level ups are based upon their egg. Uh, on their stat growths, and it's not random what you get. Because apparently there is a random mode that you unlock after you beat it on Maddening. Like, when you're playing on Madden, if you're playing on a lower difficulty, then it is random like it is in the other games. So, in theory, we should get stats that we need and not be screwed by, like, bad stats, but I don't know. We'll see. Maybe the stat growths are just lower in general, so you can't, like, be improved by good stats. Ow. Should be fine, because I don't think the archer is going to do enough damage to kill anyone. Yeah, so we get chain attack to them. Not enough damage. It, it's some damage, but not enough. It's definitely noticeable. Okay. Continue your stroll. Definitely do that. I'll do my best. Continue your stroll. It's a long way. <laughs> They're fairly far behind. I think the chances of them actually joining in and being useful are very slim. Can I kill you? No. Still no, but like a much closer no. Okay, so that's three damage off. I need some space in here. I can still fight. You can kill the one next to you. That's probably where we get our space. Who can attack you? Everyone, but they probably can't attack you if we create, like, some walls ahead. Okay. That's fine. Um, figure out where everyone needs to go. Can attack here. Do so. Right. That's fine. Could use you to attack, but that won't be enough. Oh, I really just need a, like a longer range ability at some point. All right, attack. Let's do what we can. I'm hoping they don't do 18 damage to us. Um, now. I think I want to move you in here to attack that one. Yeah. That's fine. 
So he attacks. She attacks. All flowers eventually. The reason I want to do that. So it opens up space for somebody to go in through the center here. Um, probably need you to kill. They need you to kill. Okay. That's not great. Uh, I can move you. Uh, I think we might have screwed this one, but that's okay. I can move you up and heal. I thank you. So basically, we're just hoping that the boss cannot kill our archer next turn. Maybe I move up here. It gives us a ton of avo. What's your, uh, yeah? You know, what's your health? Twenty-one. Avo's twenty-two. I think we got more chance of living if I do this. Yeah, and wait. Then move you up. Let's see how this goes. I think this is our highest chance of living. Soon I'll be a legend. The man who captured the princess of Pyrene. 20 damage? Oh no. <laughs> he just Dear. walks up and kills her. I okay, well. This is why we have the uh, rewind power. Uh, menu. Time crystal. Rewind. Okay, so I think realistically this is our last turn. There. So we gotta retreat, right? So let's go something like this. And do that. Get some experience as well. Level up to level 7. Extra defense, cool. I'm gonna move you back here. Wait. Then move you back for the heal. I fight another okay. Day. I would love to get that emblem energy. I just don't see a way of us getting that energy that's sitting there. You're gonna move back and wait. Wait. Do you have a way out? Yes. Okay. For saying there, I thought we'd uh, I'd, I'd done it wrong and we didn't actually have a way out for them. Okay, and then over the top. Wait. This is fine. Now they have to come into us, which is much more acceptable. Didn't quite kill, but we only need to do one damage. Okay, ow. That's sore. But it's much better than we were than the position we were in. We also have the uh, we fight for peace. You know, backup squad just about here. There we go, all the way around. We could retreat again, I suppose, down this way. What's your range? Your range is all the way down here. Okay. So retreating would be fine, actually. Um. The only problem would be that one. Hmm. How far can you go? Sorry. You can go all the way back here. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe that's the plan. Go back here and use a vulnerary. Yeah, a vulnerary. I think I've been saying it wrong all this time, and now I'm just correcting like muscle memory in terms of how I'm pronouncing it. Right. Retreat. This isn't always the best strat in Fire Emblem to just retreat 100% of the time. The reason I think it's a good strat here is our, our party is split, so obviously joining the party is going to help. But uh, the other thing that's going to be quite good is uh, the fact that the, we've aggroed the final boss. So it's unlikely that it's actually going to um, like spawn more units on us. The reason why it might be bad in some other fights is because it might give us a time limit, and then that's where this strategy falls apart big time. Let's go back here. Then once you move, some others are going to be able to move forward, right? Nope. Oh, okay, perfect. But for right now, this is fine. Let let them come into us. Yep, we killed it. I hope you find Good. peace. 
Archer can still come around and shoot us, but we should be fine because they no longer have the chain attack. Yup. Mage went a different direction. Wonderful. These guys are still like, yep, we're on our little trip heading up this way. Could move up here and just grab the uh, emblem energy. No, I think that's fine. Um, here? Problem is, if we move in close enough, that guy is just going to walk up and kill. What's your max health? 29. I'd have no way of healing you enough. So how am I going to get you out of here? Could move up here and heal. There we go. You're going to retreat back this way. You're going to retreat back this way. And you are definitely going to retreat back this way. <laughs> okay, so you can shoot up there, but that's fine. Okay, I think we just retreat again on this side. Because that way our party, like, gets all back together completely. Anything. It seems like a sensible thing to do as best as we can. Wait, there we go. And then here. I so you think you're going to be more useful on this side, helping out against the archer. Cool. Uh, who hasn't moved? You haven't moved. Okay. Move up. Nice. You get shot at. That's fine. They're moving in. He heals. Let's do this side. This side's going to be easier. And it opens I up some space lost. for us. So attack. In melee. Hey, levels up. Level 5. HP, dex, and speed. Okay. Um, we can just move into melee range and attack. Need some help? Good. Oh, thank goodness. Killed them. Opens up a lot of space for us to move forward. You're gonna move up this way. You're gonna move over here. Okay. Well, the furthest you can move is that bush, so seems like a good place to be. Uh, we could attack and then move, I suppose. We could just retreat further, although you've kind of reached the end of your <laughs> ability to retreat. Um, we could attack here. Let's see how this looks. So we take six damage, uh, sorry, we take eight damage back. Yeah, this is fine. Right. We're now gonna move in, Louie. And you're gonna attack here. You now this should be fine, because I'm gonna use Chain Guard. I can't, because I'm not at full HP. I'm one HP off full. Oh no. Well, my plan was to use Chain Guard, because Chain Guard would allow us to, um, like, to block, uh, like, 20%. It allows us to block most of the damage, but let's try this. Yeah, this is fine. Wait. Let's see how this goes. If he kills somebody, then this is just bad, but... Soon I'll be a legend. A man who captured the Princess of Pyrenee. Wait, you can attack her? Hold the javelin. Okay, didn't realize that. Magic also hits her. Oh well, that's bad. So probably move Fram uh, back then, huh? <laughs> okay, um... Yeah, time crystal. That one's not entirely, like, you know... It's, it's mostly my fault, but, like, I was working on bad uh, knowledge. There we go. Uh, I might as well wait here. There we go. Hopefully we don't die again, otherwise we need to do more rewinding, but... 
All right, do we think he can do 16 damage? Oh no, they're in melee range. Never mind, he can't do 16, right? Because there's not two spaces. There's not two spaces, so he can't do 16. Soon I'll be a legend. Yep. Only 15 damage here. Now the problem is we might need to be a mage to actually hurt him. That would be a problem. That would be a major problem. <laughs> uh, Whatever you require. Right, attack and kill. Was that sufficient? Cool. Um. Can you actually harm him? Nope. <laughs> Can you? Nope. All right, we need magic users to harm him. Well, that's going to be problematic. Let's do that. Go up here. Uh, continue pushing your way forward. Continue pushing your way forward. I think I get one heal out of her. I'm going to heal Vander. There we go. I fight another day. It's fine. Onward. Vander attacking is going to do zero damage. Hand axe. Zero damage. Okay. Um, heal. Um, wait in the bush. Yeah, wait. Let's see how this goes. Um, you also cannot harm him. Okay, well, wait. Let's see how this goes. Oh, you're attacking Vander. Well, that's at least ideal. Yeah, I'm actually very happy at that. Move up here and wait. That's powered up the emblem. You're gonna move there. You're gonna move there. And you're going to... Wait. Okay. Uh, you're gonna live either way. I'm gonna heal Louis. Yeah. Why? Thank you. Nice. Then I'm gonna move I him forward a, a singular step, so I can move us up here, which will then charge our emblem, which means we can use the um, Lodestar Rush with the powerful against armor one. And then I'm gonna end my turn. Actually, I'm going to deliberately do a wait here, just so we get self-improvement. Then I'm going to end our turn. I don't know if you get it if you just end turn. I don't think you do. This should be fine. No! We got broke, but I mean, that's okay. It only hit once. Right. Engage. Followed by Warp Ragnarok. In here, kill. I'm sure we've moved to this exact same spot to do this exact same move recently, but we did it. Okay. Level up. Bond leveled up to level 3. When equipped with a tome, if a unit's HP is 2 or more, a unit loses 1 HP at the start of combat and deals plus 2 damage during combat. Interesting. I'll manage. Engage. Load star rush. Using the powerful weapon. <laughs> it does zero damage. Okay. Well, run away. <laughs> Oldly run away. Heal. Not that it's okay. like, you know that good, but let's heal. Could also block this steward. guy in a little bit here. Assuming that actually does block him in, which it appears to. Yeah, okay. Can I get plan to kill him? Yes, yes I can. Cool. 
We did it at last. It was a tough fight, but I would have won, you know. If they'd given me real soldiers. Hey, any level what's up? Level three. Hmm. Still kinda bad. You got strength level up? That seems terrible. MVP was Louis. Fantastic. Well, that was a long one. <laughs> long and difficult, but it has been achieved. So, what's next? A save? Okay. I can get down with a save. And then, cutscene? Dialogue? <gasps> Who are you? <sighs> There's no need to be afraid. It's gone. You saved my life. Thank you. It was nothing, really. I only did what anyone else would do. Are you here by yourself? I am. I saw the fighting and thought I could help. You're braver than I am. I can't stand the corrupted. I was so startled I couldn't think. You really did save my life. I see. Oh, I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm the Divine Dragon. What a lovely name. I'm Vale. Vale. Might I interrupt? No, Marth. We're having a chat here. You weren't involved. What is it? I mean, yes. Even with the Corrupted gone, it may not be safe for her out here. Perhaps we should escort her home, or to an inn. That's a good idea. Hey, Vale, do you live around here? Nope. Huh? She's gone. Saw Marth and left immediately. Divine One! Saline, did you see a girl pass this way? Small, with long hair? Barefoot? No, I'm afraid I didn't see anyone matching that description. <sighs> okay, thanks. Did you need something? I wanted to thank you. Alfred told me that you accepted Firinay's request for aid. And your help in the battle was the difference between victory and defeat. Thank you. Truly. Don't mention it. Alfred and I are friends. I was happy to help. Alfred talked to you in your sleep and then said, it feels like we're friends. I don't know if that makes you friends, although he did say there was a long trip, so maybe in that time you became actual friends. Friends? He said that? Imagine speaking so casually with the Divine Dragon. Please, allow me to apologize on his behalf. There's no need to put me on a pedestal. I just woke up. And the world is new to me. I make mistakes like anyone. Is that so? I thought surely the Divine Dragon would be an all-seeing, all-powerful being. But here I find that you are rather more... human than I expected. Perhaps we can be friends. Then what do you say, Saline? Friends? I would be honored. All right. Well, we're friends. And our party is growing very, very quickly. I'm wondering whether we're going to end up with more party members than we can fit in a party, or whether what's going to end up happening is we're going to end up with exactly the right amount that we need. Who knows? Anyway, what I do know is that I'm going to end the episode there because I've gone about double the length that I was planning to go, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.